evening and welcome to Pound Posse Presents. There's a, just a different feeling in here tonight for some, well, for a number of reasons, but here we are. It's another Saturday night. Um, I want to start with apologizing for not being here last week. A uh, few health problems have been uh, plaguing me for the last 10 days or so. Uh, I think, knock on wood, they may be under control now which uh, is all I can ask for. It's no fun being sick, it really, really isn't. And um, you know, it's one thing when you've got chronic problems, but then it's another when something else pops up and really throws you for a loop. So here we are now anyway. And again, I apologize for not being here last week. I don't take my misses lightly. Uh, you know, if, if there's an event or there's something going on, but you know, usually, I try not to let too much get in the way of, of being here because it's a commitment that I made. It's a commitment both to the studio and to the animals because you know I'm here to try to help them. So onward we go. And I want to thank everyone who shared the Waterbury dogs. The last time I was on the air, you know, I, I put out a plea to try to get some of those dogs out of there and then I went on my website Pound Posse Press and I put together uh, an article uh, that not only addressed the the situation in Waterbury but just the fact that you know summertime and I say this every year is the slowest time for adoptions and it's when more animals will die in a kill shelter uh, in kill shelters across the country uh, and, and it just it boggles my mind because you would really think that summertime when people are home uh, it's the perfect time to get a pet and indoctrinate it into your schedule into your life you know you've got more time to spend everybody's home I don't know I don't get it but uh, you know all I can do is try to fight the good fight and a lot of people tried with me by sharing and uh, helping to spread the word. There were several dogs, I'm pleased to say, and from what I understand, a cat that was down there uh, that all got out. And hopefully, um, you know, they, they, you never get the numbers of the ones that didn't make it out, but hopefully, I don't know if there was any way to have a stay of execution, if there was enough dogs that got out. Um, the ones that I know of, you know, Yes, every everyone matters, but I don't know if it was enough to prevent um, that call to the vet. I can only hope that that might have been the case. But please, whatever you do, uh, never stop sharing the dogs in Waterbury because it, it's urgent. You know, from the second they walk in those doors, uh, they are urgent, and you know, time ticks, and it's you know, it could be a day or two before the pound gets full again. It's a very high intake area and you know perfectly adoptable dogs are there and yes a lot of people complain because they're pits or pit mixes and that's not what they're looking for. Well you know excuse me all to hell but that's what we got and um, we've got to try you know it, just because uh, a, a dog is not what you might want to adopt doesn't mean that it's not adoptable and that its life isn't worth fighting for or trying to save. So, you know, even if you're on the market and, you know, you find that a dog there is not what you want, share them. I, I just can't express enough the power in the share. And, you know, it takes one share to put it in front of the potential right set of eyes and there you go, happily ever after. So keep sharing. I know that you know they don't put uh, all the information that everybody would want to see. Go down there. Just go down there. It's the only way to see the dogs that they have, to maybe get a feel for them. Unfortunately, the conditions uh, for adopters are a little tough, but you know, it, it's sometimes it's what you make it. Try to go during the adoption hours if you want to, you know, be able to meet a dog. Um, 
you know, they're, they're, they've got their own set of circumstances down there is all I can say. And, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, we've got to try. And everybody can be a part of making it a better system and getting those dogs out of there. And of course, if it were not for the irresponsible people who allowed their dogs to end up there and, you know, not care, that's a whole nother story. Uh, we wouldn't be having this, this monologue here. Anyway, so yes, thank you all for sharing my article and my post and, you know, for the rescues that went and pulled and the adopters that went and adopted. Uh, you made a difference for those guys and, you know, <sighs> one starfish at a time. Anyway, um, a lot of what I'm seeing is so upsetting uh, in, in the shelters and that is so many senior pets are being unceremoniously dumped and I just, I can't imagine. I saw a 20 year old basset hound uh, dumped in a shelter because the people were moving and couldn't take it. 20 years. There are those of us who would give years off our own lives to have 20 years with any one of our dogs. And here you are with a 20 year old dog, a miracle, and you're just like, yeah, no, we're moving, really. I, I can't fathom the sadness, the confusion, you know, it, it, it's, it, it just, it kills me. And there are, senior can be a range of years, but all of these, you know, 10, 12, 15 year old pets that are just being thrown away like garbage. I don't understand the mentality of you would have a dog for that long and it's not such a part of your family that you wouldn't want something like that to just dump it in a shelter where it probably doesn't have a lot of a chance. In a lot of shelters, the owner surrenders are the first ones to get killed. And so many of these people who are advised of that are okay with it. Why would you want a family member or what should be a family member to die at the hands of strangers alone and afraid? They don't understand. They're looking for you. They're waiting for you to come back. And I just, I can't imagine. It's, it's, it's horrible, absolutely horrible. <sighs> anyway, as I get myself all worked up, we may be, Blah. We may revisit this before the show is over. Who knows, depending on what kind of rant I get on um, at any given point in time tonight. But I do have some adoptables for you. And I'm going to start with Finn. Hello, Zach. There he is. Look at that face. I cannot stand the cuteness. Um, I, I'm, I believe he's a Shih Tzu. I had a Shih Tzu for 17 years, uh, loved him to death. He was the most awesome little guy. He was the first dog that I ever had from cradle to grave. And I wouldn't have traded those 17 years for anything. Anyway, Finn is an adorable little guy who seems to be having a little trouble finding just the right family to call his own. He's been adopted and returned and it was a people problem rather than a Finn problem. Uh, Finn is a youngster at only two years old. He still has many puppy-like qualities. And you know, it, th they don't just like turn a year old and grow up, folks. Um, you know, dogs can be playful and puppy-like for many, many years. And the longer that they are, um, I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Anyway, so he's playful and he would thrive in a home with another dog who will engage with and play with him. Uh, you know, it, dogs like company too. And you know, not every dog, but yeah, some dogs do. And Finn is definitely one of those little guys who likes to have a buddy. He's a lover. He wants to cuddle. He wants to sleep in bed with you and just be close to you. Finn is house trained, 
but he needs you to stay outside with him in order to do his business. And I, I would recommend anybody to stay outside with their dogs, especially in the environment that we are in, living in now, the times that we are in where dogs are getting stolen out of their yards just, you know, because people didn't think enough to stay out there with them. Um, so yeah, Finn maybe is smarter than the average bear like that. So he just needs a family who gets him, something that all of us long for. And if you're interested in finding out more about this little angel or for an application, you can visit passion, the number four paws, Dot org passion for pause dot org passion the number four pause dot org next up is Buster look at this face I mean it's just precious his eyes look a little worried and you know I don't blame him he's probably really confused right now he is a six-year-old cutie who spent his whole life with one family until a child developed allergies, <coughs> yeah, and there went Buster to the shelter. Now, you know, maybe the child did have allergies, maybe the child didn't have allergies and it was just an excuse. Uh, unfortunately, those of us who deal with animals and rescue hear that all the time, somebody in the house had allergies like I said, could be legit, it happens, but you know, it is what it is, it's not helping him right now. Anyway, Buster was adopted, and because he jumped on one of the people in that home, he was promptly returned. Hello, dogs jump, dogs are excited, he lost his whole world, he ended up in a shelter, he doesn't know what's going on, Woohoo, he's out of the shelter. Woohoo, he's got new people. Woohoo, I jumped on you and boom. He's right back in the shelter. Really? Do you never ex I mean uh, It's almost a good thing that he got returned so quickly because I get the feeling that these people don't deserve to have a dog and sooner or later Buster would have ended up on the short end of the stick anyway. So, like I say, maybe it's just better it happened so quickly, but it doesn't help his confusion because he thought he got sprung from the joint and here he is right back in there. Buster is described as very well behaved. He takes toys and treats gently. He's good with dogs and kids and has been around cats. Buster does have some of his own allergies, probably to stupid people, but I digress. But that doesn't stop him from being a great dog. He is at the Associated Humane Popcorn Park Shelter in Forked River, New Jersey. His file number is 28092, and the phone number for the shelter is 609 Six nine three one nine zero zero. That's six zero nine six nine three one nine zero zero. Sweet face, Buster. Look at that little funky lip. Anyway, next up is Heidi, and Heidi is a nine and a half pound girl who was reported left in a park. This is another contemptible move by a human because you see Heidi has a birth defect and she walks very slowly. Go ahead, you can scroll, Zach. She needs a home where she can have short walks and lots of love. Now here, if you hold on this one, Zach, you can see why she walks slowly. She has a genetic defect where she doesn't just walk on her paws. She walks on the other part of her leg as well. So you can imagine uh, that slows her down greatly. Uh, she's been to the vet. I don't know, you know, uh, I'm sure she is used to it. I don't know that in a case like this that surgery is an option or 
even a good idea. She's, she's used to the way she is and she gets around accordingly. But yeah, I can imagine with those tiny little legs, um, she would already be pretty slow and this just makes it worse, the poor thing. Anyway, Heidi loves the grass and she appears to like other dogs and she is very, very sweet. They're saying they think she's about five years old and you know, there's, there's always the question, did the person who called and say she was sitting in the park, uh, was that the person who dumped her there? How do you dump a dog like this? What do you think is gonna happen? You know she didn't get to the park by herself. She didn't just decide that she, you know, she was gonna go out and take a roll in the grass. It would have taken her days to get there. So I, I just don't understand the cruelty with people. I mean, at least if the person who dumped her is the person who called that they at least let somebody know. I, I guess there's that bright side to it, but just how, just how? Anyway, Heidi is at the Yonkers Animal Shelter where you know she's being spoiled and taking fabulous care of. If you are interested, email lesliem147 at gmail.com, lesliem147 at gmail.com. Next up is Handsome Buddy. Look at that handsome face. He looks like just such a sweet dog. He's an eight-year-old guy, another old guy, who would so much rather be relaxing on a couch in his golden years than be spending them at the shelter. But he is laid back and easygoing. I love that expression on his face, by the way. That's a picture, Zach, I can see you in. Yep, making that same face with him and just like uh, doing your little hamming it up. Yep, absolutely. I could see it. Anyway, he's laid back and easygoing. He walks nicely on a leash. He's house trained. He would be good with slightly older children. He's a big old lovable mush. And you know, the only thing is that he needs to be an only dog. And so what? You know, these older dogs are so much easier than the younger ones in a lot of respects because you know, you have your opposite ends of the spectrum. You've got the little dogs like Finn who are still in their puppy phase and they have a lot of energy and they wanna play and that fits a certain type of lifestyle. Then you've got these sweet older mushes like Buddy and he's just, you know, chill, needs a little exercise wants to hang out, just relax, and he's a lot lower energy, uh, lower maintenance, and you know, again, another lifestyle. And I'm sure that, you know, the fact that he needs to be an only dog, again, I always say it's a niche adoption. Not everybody um, has that kind of opening for a dog because most of us have multiples and you know, some people can't do multiples. Some people don't wanna do multiples. They have one dog and that's good. So we've gotta find that kind of home for Buddy. He has his own Facebook page, which is Lovable Buddy Wants a Home. And you can check out some of his pictures and videos there. Or you can call the Town of Hempstead Animal Shelter at 516-785-5220. Once again, that's 516-785-5220. Next up, we have Molly. Look at that sweet, sweet face. Molly is a young sweetheart who has been being treated for a pretty bad ear infection, but she's feeling much better and she's ready to forge ahead into a new life and a new home. She loves people, she's very energetic, and has a tendency to be dog selective, so meeting any potential housemates is a must. There is also one more stipulation, and that is that Molly would like to have her very own kiddie pool to splash, or, splash around in because she loves the water. There's actually a really cool video I saw of her and the hose, it was hilarious. Anyway. If you are in the Ohio area, Molly is at the Knox County Animal Shelter in Mount Vernon, Ohio. 
And the number to call if you're interested is 740-393-6713. Once again, that's 740-393-6713. Now, next up, we have Thunder. And Thunder is a stunner who came from a home where he was not appreciated and not treated with kindness. <clears throat> I just don't like people. He is terrified in the shelter. And it would seem that he's not used to even being outside so much because little things can sp scare or spook him. He's come a long way since his arrival at the shelter and the volunteers adore him. Thunder will need a loving and patient person to guide him, help build his confidence, and teach him how to be a dog. <coughs> Excuse me, he's about three years old. He'd be okay with teenagers and up, and he should be the only dog and you know from what I read you could see him here playing with toys he didn't even know what to do with toys when he first went into the shelter I mean can you imagine in three years you know your owner treats you pretty badly and you don't know what toys are and you know little things outside scare you that you should have been used to your whole life um, I can't imagine, you know, the kind of treatment that this poor guy has gotten uh, to make him just not know how to be a dog. So, yeah, an only home, an only pet home uh, wouldn't hurt him. I mean, I don't know if it's because of his past or because he has an issue. Uh, it, I didn't see that information, but look at this guy. He's gorgeous. He just really, really has those soulful eyes and he needs someone that he can trust and grow and, and spend the rest of his life with. And hopefully that will happen for him soon because being scared in the shelter has got to be the worst thing, you know? Even though he was in a bad home, he was the only home he knew. And so now he's in a whole different environment with all these different animals and all these different an these sounds and smells and I, I just can't imagine I mean these poor animals if only people understood what they were doing to them um, although I, I will say that it definitely sounds like the best day of his life came when you know he wasn't in that home anymore but he needs to get into a, a, a situation soon that's not the shelter so you can check out his Facebook page, A Home for Thunder, or you can call the Town of Hempstead Animal Shelter at 516-785-5220. That's 516-785-5220. Now, we all know how much I support the Town of Hempstead Animal Shelter, and they are having an adoption event next weekend. It is the Don't Bully My Breed adoption event. It's going to be held from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And next Saturday is August 4th. There'll be live music, food, vendors, raffles. And, you know, they're having their every, their, their annual free adoption time until early September. Now, mind you, just because they're saying free adoptions, it doesn't mean that you go and just take a dog home because they are still going to put you through the adoption process. I need to constantly make that clear because I know that, you know, that could certainly invite the wrong element and that's not at all what this is about. So, I don't know if I'll be saying this right, but the town of Hempstead Animal Shelter is located at 3320 Belta Avenue in Wanta, New York. Um, I would love to go, and the prospects don't look good, but they're there, so I'm gonna try. Anyway, um, Zach, I'll take the camera back for a second. There's also a little reminder I have for you about the Bikers Against Animal Cruelty 
11th annual rally and adoption event, which is going to be held at the North Haven Fairgrounds on August 18th. And uh, I will be there. There will be a lot of fun people there. Um, Juno from Juno's Place and Hudson from Hudson the Railroad Puppy and little Oliver and for the love of Jack, Sherry will be there, Desmond's Army, my family will be there. Uh, it's gonna be one of those great days where so many of us um, who actually have relationships with each other uh, will be there to hang out. Uh, a lot of people that I obviously know and love it kind of always ends up being like a who's who of Pound Posse Presents, which is kind of cool in itself. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to see you there. If you need more information about that, I do have the event posted on the Pound Posse Presents Facebook page. Um, where are we at with time, Zach? Huh? Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do, see I have the door closed tonight so I can't really hear him, but he, he's, I've got, he, he can hear me because of obviously the microphone. So let's roll through those adoptables again, if you would. We've got Finn and Buster and Heidi and Buddy and Molly and Thunder and they're all so deserving I really wish that um, I could have a lot more dogs because I would. Uh, <laughs> I, I would need to like hire people to take care of them and, and have more room and you know, all of those I wish, I wish, I wish. But these dogs are all shared on the Pound Posse Presents Facebook page. If you would be so kind as to go visit and share uh, even just one of them, if you share them to all the places you can think of, that would be a beautiful thing, it would be helpful. I'm gonna say peace, love, and dogs. Until next week, thank you very much and good night.